Just as he descended from heaven at the moment of the incarnation, at the ascension, he returned to the Father, something only he, the God-man, the Son of the Father, could do. Thus, the incarnation and the ascension are inextricably linked. Only the one who came from the Father can return to the Father, the Catechism tells us, further stating that the ascension of the Lord introduces the irreversible entry of his humanity into divine glory, where he will be seated from this time forward at God's right hand. Left to our own devices, we mortals cannot achieve access to heaven. We are totally dependent on the merits gained for us by the one who went before us. This is Peggy Stanton, and this has been the Order of Moses Minute with the Catechism. Pope Francis on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land said, It is a great gift that the Lord has given us by bringing us together here in the upper room for the celebration of the Eucharist. Here where Jesus shared the Last Supper with the Apostles. Where after his resurrection, he appeared in their midst. Where the Holy Spirit descended with power upon Mary and the disciples. Here the church was born. She was born to go forth. We can follow the lead of Pope Francis. We can make a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. More information is available at holyland-pilgrimage.org. When the days are completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. Just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens a womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. 